Tonight, a sister's mission to stop domestic violence. My sister's death is beyond tragic to us and to her children. So if there's any way to create something positive out of it, perhaps it's, a, it's an opportunity. Stacey DeSantis Dorego was murdered by her common law husband in one of the most tragic crimes in recent memory. Tonight, her sister is speaking out, calling for change in how we all view domestic violence. And we've also learned the state's largest advocacy group is pushing new laws to help victims in abusive relationships. Susan Campbell has the details in a story you'll see only on Eyewitness News. Jamie Willett Morris tells me the first time she met Donald Greenslit, something seemed off. He was pacing and bragging, but Jamie never could have imagined his strange behavior was hiding a violent streak that would turn deadly. This smile is what Jamie Willett Morris wants everyone to remember about her sister, Stacey DeSantis Dorego. She was a very special person. She was really happy and just always smiled. But those smiles often masked the reality of a relationship riddled with violence. Stacy and Donald Greenslet had been together for about eight years and had two children together. My family and I uh, met him and thought he was sort of a bizarre character. And as Jamie would learn, Greenslet was dangerous. On a snowy January night in 2012, he stabbed Stacy to death, dismembered her body, and set fire to their Johnston home to try to cover up his crime. The couple's five and three-year-old children were in the house when their mother was killed. When you look at him, you see a monster. Absolutely. He is a monster. Absolutely. He killed my sister and his children would have died in that house if it wasn't for the firefighters. Yeah, he's a monster. And now convicted killer. Greenslit was sentenced to life in prison in 2013. His nine day trial was the first time Jamie realized how much her sister had suffered. There was a lot of violence in the home and we had no idea. She hit it all? She hit it all. But there it was, a paper trail. Greenslit's criminal record included three arrests on domestic assault charges. Did the system fail her? Uh, I believe it did. There's got to be a better way. We checked and it wasn't hard to find several other cases like Stacy's. She had a protective order against Greenslit at the time of her murder, an order that was supposed to keep him away from her. Court records show last year alone more than 800 protective orders were violated in Rhode Island. And so far this year, there have been six domestic homicides. Is Rhode Island behind the times when it comes to domestic violence laws? You know, with, the, with all the tragedies we've seen this year, it might be easy to think that, but sadly enough, we're viewed as one of the states that has one of the best responses in the country. Deb DeBear, the executive director of the Rhode Island Coalition Against Domestic Violence, tells us the agency is proposing legislation that would require dangerousness hearings for people facing domestic violence charges, like the charges Donald Greenslip faced three times before he finally murdered Stacey Durego. We can actually use some of these assessment tools and help judges make better decisions so that we don't let people out on bail who shouldn't be let out on bail. The organization is also pushing for a domestic violence prevention fund. Because we still know that there is a tremendous amount we can do to improve the system. That's a goal Jamie wants to work toward too. A lot of people look at an abusive situation and say it's none of my business. And I think that's the worst thing we can do. It's, it's all of our business. Jamie and her husband are raising Stacy's children. They're seven and nine now. Jamie tells me they're doing well, enjoying school and making new friends in their new hometown. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.